वायन हाउ यू कैन डू दिस क्वेश्चन यू आस्क हिम विद एगनी ही मे डेटली गॉट अप एंड पोल्ड अप हिज पैंट्स एंड द गर्ल कवर्ड हर बॉडी विद ब्लैंकेट क्रिस्टन ओ आई एम सॉरी आई शुड हैव लॉक द डोर ही सेट विदाउट फीलिंग गिल्टी एंड अशेम्ड वायन वॉट यू आर नॉट अशेम्ड ऑफ योर डूइंग्स हाउ यू कैन बी विद अ होटल स्टाफ एंड इन आर वील गेट मैरिड यू इज फीलिंग ब्रोकन क्रिस्टन आई एम सॉरी वायन आई वॉन्ट डू इट अगेन लेट्स गो एवरी वन मस्ट बी वेटिंग फॉर एस वायन देर विल बी नो मैरिज आई कैन मैरी अ पर्सन हु कैन स्लीप विद एनी वुमेन वी आर टन सेंग दैट यू टर्न एंड लेफ्ट द रूम क्रिस्टन केम बिहाइंड यू बट यू डिड इन स्टॉप ऑथर्स पीओवी वायन एंड सोरा आर सिस्टर्स इट वॉज अ ब्यूटिफुल फैमिली वायन्स फादर इज अ टीचर दे वर नॉट रिच बट स्टिल दे वर नॉट पुअर हर मदर इज अ हाउस वाइफ हु लव हर बोथ डॉटर्स एंड हजबेंड अ लॉट सोरा वॉज ऑलवेज सम वन हु वॉन्ट अ लॉट ऑफ मनी एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट शी मैरिड अ फिफ्टी सिक्स ईयर ओल्ड बिजनेस मैन बट स्टिल शी वॉज एंड सेटिसफाइड क्रिस्टन वॉज सोराज बेस्ट फ्रेंड सोरा नेवर हेटेड हर सिस्टर सो दैट्स वाई शी ऑफर्ड क्रिस्टन टू मैरी वायन क्रिस्टन वॉज हैंडसम एंड अ लिटल रिचर दैन वायन्स फैमिली बट ही वॉज अ टोटल परवर्ड ही वॉज अ प्ले बॉय वायन वॉज एंड रेडी फॉर अ मैरिज बट हर पेरेंट्स एंड सिस्टर फोर्सड हर टू मैरी क्रिस्टन दे वॉन्टेड टू सी देयर डॉटर्स हैप्पी विद देयर हजबेंड्स वायन एग्री टू मैरी क्रिस्टन बिकॉज ऑफ हर पेरेंट्स बट द डे ऑफ देयर मैरिज शी वॉज गेटिंग रेडी इन होटल रूम एंड क्रिस्टन वॉज ऑल्सो विद हर बट टेलिंग वायन यू वेंट टू बाथरूम इन हिज रूम आफ्टर वेटिंग फॉर ऑलमोस्ट हाफ एन आवर वायन वॉज रेडी बट क्रिस्टन वॉज इन बैग she decided to go to his room but when she opened the door of his room she was shocked he was busy with the hotel staff it wasn't first time he was doing it with a stranger but it was his favorite thing to do author's view we end you reached your parents and christian came behind you mom you both are looking beautiful together christian thank you mom he said with a wide smile You looked at his face but there were no signs of shame. Vian, dad, mom, I want to tell you something. I can't marry him. Sora, Vian stopped this all. Ignoring Sora, you turned to your father. Vian, dad, I just saw him with a girl in his room and and they were doing it. Listening your words, dad's eyes got bigger in disbelief. Christian Vian please if you don't want to marry me please then don't but please stop this all please stop humiliating me in front of your family he was looking really sad and was pretending to be a gentle man Sora dad she is just doing it because she was against this marriage from the beginning mom everyone is waiting outside stop this all drama Vian mom how you can still want me to marry him you were crying but no one of them was interested in your tears dad we should go out everyone is waiting you look at your father in disbelief how he can not trust his own daughter tears were rolling on your cheeks giving you a hard glare sora went out of room with mom and dad christian you have no other choice baby putting on a white smile on his lips he also walked out vian's pov they left me alone i was crying but no one cared about me My family isn't ready to trust me. Crying and thinking of what to do now I decided to run away. I know it will be embarrassing for my family to face guest but I can't spend my life with him. I got up and slightly opened the door of my room. No one was out. I rushed outside but when I reached to lift I heard Sora shouting my name. She was coming to me. I ran and climbed downstairs. Then I heard Christian yelling my name. They both were chasing me. I was running in my wedding gown, throwing my sandals in room. Reaching in parking lot, I hid behind a car. Sora and Christian were constantly yelling my name. My heart was about to explode. I was looking for a safe place, but I was afraid if they caught me, I would be in big trouble. I slowly moved and tried to open car trunk. Luckily it wasn't locked. I hid in it and carefully closed the trunk. 
I could hear them calling my name and cursing me, but I can't give up so easily. But within a minute, I heard car's door open and closed. It means someone hopped on the car. Before I could think what to do, car started. I was getting out of breath. I tried to open the trunk, but it was locked. I tried to stretch my legs, but I couldn't. It was getting hard for me. I was trying to move my body when my hand touched with something. I touched it to find out what's that. Then I realized it was a suitcase. I opened it to find something which can help me, but the thing I found made me surprised. It was a woman's panties, and the whole suitcase was full with women's panties. I threw it back and was shivering of fear. Maybe the car owner is a psychopath or some kind of gang member. Suddenly, car stopped and then someone opened car's trunk. I immediately jumped out and stretched my body. After stretching my body, I looked around, but what I saw was really unexpected. There were a lot of media reporters and near me, a man in suit was standing, watching me with open mouth. I was confused what's this all happening when man in suit asked, Who are you and what you are doing in our car? I was about to answer when someone stepped out of car. He was tall, fair, young and handsome. He was staring at me with confused eyes when a reporter asked, So Mr. Kim, she is the girl he was hiding. Is she your wife? Why she was in your car drunk? He was just staring at me and I was feeling scared. What if my family saw me on TV and find me? I hide my face in my hands but reporters were asking many questions. Reporter 2 Tell us Mr. Kim, she is your wife, right? She is the one you are hiding from everyone. Mr. Kim, please tell us about your relationship. When and how you get married? They were asking countless questions and I was cursing myself in hard to hide in his car. My hands were on my face when someone removed my hand from my face and hold my hand. I looked at the person. He was Mr. Kim. He took me with him in the house and reporters were chasing us, but his guards handled them. It was a huge house with many guards and house helpers. He took me in sitting room and left my hand. I was looking around the house when I heard his voice. Vyan's beauty and Theon. If you are done examining my house, then tell me who you are. His voice was quite loud and his face was red. Vyan. Actually, I am sorry. I was just hiding in your car. You said loading your head. Theon. Are you a child? And did you just found my car to play hide and seek? Vyan. I wasn't playing. I was... He cut your words in middle. Theon. Do you know what you have done? You ruined my whole plan. He yelled loudly which made you flinch. You looked up in his eyes. His eyes were red and he was looking really pissed off. He was thinking what to do when the man in suit came in. Theon. Alex, please ask her what she want. He shouted and walked inside. Alex came in front of me. Alex, tell me everything. Don't you dare to lie. Vyan, I was just hiding in your car. I was running from my marriage and that's it. As I said that, a maid came. Sir, master is calling you with the guest. Seeing that, she left. Alex, come with me. He walked in and you followed him. Reaching in a study room, you saw a man in his 50s. His personality was really graceful. The young was already sitting on a chair rubbing his forehead with his fingers. You were standing like a criminal. Your head was low. Mr. Kim, I don't care who you are and from where you came, but now you can't leave. Taeyong, Dad, we can think of for something else. Mr. Kim, I don't want to hear one more word from you. We will announce that you are married to this girl. And after a year, this marriage will finish. Taeyong. But dad, you know that I love Mahi. I will marry her. 
Ignoring his words, Mr. Kim looked at you. Mr. Kim, do you have any problem with my decision? Mayan. Sir, I just want a place to live. Because if my family found me, they will force me to marry the man I don't want to. Mr. Kim. Okay then, Alex announced the news of Young and this girl's marriage, saying that Mr. Kim got up and walked out. Young also got up and glaring at you, he held your hand and took you with him upstairs. Young, you ruined my plan. I was planning to make things easier for me and Mahi, but you? Ah, why you came in my life? Vyan, I am sorry. I know it's my fault. Young, look at yourself. Do you think you deserve to become my wife? You looked down on your dress. It was your wedding gown, but the condition of gown was really gross. Young, why you didn't say no for marriage? Vyan, I just need a shelter and I have no other option. I'm sorry for this. He rubbed his forehead with his fingers in frustration. Young. Change this weird costume first, saying that he walked out of room. You looked around the room and went bathroom to take shower. After taking shower, you came out wrapping a towel on your body. You was lost in your thoughts, but suddenly you flinched. He was sitting on the corner of bed and was staring you. You turned back to run in bathroom again when he shouted. Damn! Stop! You looked down on your body which was half covered. Towel was small. He came near you. Your heartbeat was accelerating. Reaching near you, he pinned you on door. His eyes were fixed on your face. You hardly swallow your own saliva. Vyan, what? What are you doing? He was looking like a small kitten in front of him. He didn't say anything but was just staring in your eyes. You again open your mouth to say something, but he put his but he put his finger on your lips. Taeyong, this room belongs to my girlfriend and no one is allowed to use a single thing of her. Keep that in your small brain. You heave a sigh and said, Then why you bring me here? I thought this room will be in my use. Taeyong, don't even think of this. Saying that he turned back to leave, but taking two steps, he stopped. Young. Lara is waiting outside the room. She will guide you to your room. You nodded your head and he walked out of the room. You looked down on your body, went back to bathroom to change towel with bathrobe. You were sitting dropping your head down. There were three people on dining table but all were quiet. He was feeling awkward sitting like a criminal. Finally, silence broke by Mr. Kim. I know it will be hard for you both to live in a fake marriage, but still we cannot afford to tell the world that your marriage isn't real. And I won't forget any one of you if anyone found about it. Taeyong But Dad, you know that I love Mari and I was planning to announce our marriage. What I will tell her? Can't you think about something else? Mr. Kim No, I can't. You both are responsible for this chaos. Listening to Mr. Kim's word, he got up and walked out of house. You were left alone with Mr. Kim. Mr. Kim, you seem a wise girl to me. He is angry and just thinking about his own self, but I can't just think as a father because I need to think about my business also. Hope in future you won't cause any more troubles. You raised your head and said, Sir, I will try my best to not to do anything which will bother you. Mr. Kim, good, but one more thing. Don't call me sir, because you are my son's wife, so you should call me dad. You nodded your head with a light smile. Wiping mouth with napkin, Mr. Kim got up and walked in his study room. Taeyong's POV I was going back home to talk to dad about my marriage with Maggie. But when I saw a girl in her wedding dress came out of my car, my mind was blown. And on top of that, media reporters were also there. My dad's priority is always his business.
I tried to convince dad, but he didn't agree for any other option. Mahi is my childhood friend, but she is not just a friend, but my first love also. I always try to protect her to make her happy and I always love her. She was really dear to me and our feelings for each other were the same. She used to live with us in the same house after her parents' death. I insisted dad to bring her home and from the age of nine we were living together. I was sitting in my car with Alex waiting for Mahi to come. After some minutes she came and Alex stepped down of car. Mahi What's this all the young? You cheated on me. As soon as she sat in car, she asked with tear in her eyes. Looking her teary eyes, my heart ached. I cupped her face, but she yanked my hands away from her face. Mahi I can't believe this. All these years you were just playing with my feelings. I will never forgive you, Tehyong. Her words were hurting me. I hold her hand in my hand and said, Please give me a chance to explain. Mahi, what you will explain? Tehyong, Mahi, I have never cheated on you. I don't know from where Vyan came in my car. But now it's dad's order to pretend married with Vyan. It's just one year marriage. Mahi, are you trying to fool me? Why anyone, ag- anyone would agree to be in a fake marriage? Tehyong, trust me Mahi, it's just for the sake of our business and reputation. I swear there is nothing between her and me. Just trust me. You know that I can't cheat you. Mahi, I trust you but it's hard for me to see you with other girl. Tehyong, I can understand but it's just for a year. I cupped her face and placed a soft kiss on her forehead. Then I called Alex and we drive us home. You were sitting on sofa while thinking about future life when you heard the young's voice. You stood up to talk to him but as you turned back you saw a girl with him. She was beautiful, slim, tall, fair and very fashionable. You were just staring and admiring her beauty when she came near you. Mahi. So she's Vyan. Tayong nodded his head and she stretched her hand to you for a shake hand. You shook hand with her hesitantly. Mahi. Hope everything will be back to normal soon. Saying that she walked out of sitting room. He looked at the young, but without staying there for a second, he rushed behind her. Taeyong was sitting in his room with Alex. Taeyong, what do you think, Alex? What I should do? Alex, sir, in my opinion, two women can't stay in under the same roof. Taeyong. Yes, you are right. One of them need to leave. Alex. So, sir, who will be the one to leave the house? Taeyang. I will think about it. Alex nodded his head and walked out of his room. Taeyang was staring the ceiling while thinking about upcoming days. You were sitting on dining table with Mahi and Taeyang. Mr. Kim wasn't home. You were feeling awkward because Mahi was constantly staring you. Silence broke when Taeyong cleared his throat. Taeyong, so the thing is, you two can't live in the same house. Vyan's POV I raised my head and looked at Mahi in confusion, but soon I became confident because he can't throw me out of house because I am his wife. Mahi then who will be out? Is it me? Taeyong. No, you will live here. Vyan will go. My eyes got bigger. I was sure he can't do this, but I was wrong. 
Why? But they are. No, but get ready. We will live in an hour. After some time, Taeyong took me to an apartment. Alex was also with us. I was looking the apartment when Alex took a suitcase. Taeyong, here are your clothes and other stuff. And then he handed me a phone which was really expensive and the phone model was new. Wayan, but how I will live alone in the huge apartment? Taeyong, I don't know. It's your headache. I have saved mine and Alex's number in this phone. Contact me in case of emergency. If you need anything, tell Alex. I am going. Saying that, he turned and left with Alex. I locked the door and rushed in to check every corner of the apartment. Wow, now I can live peacefully. I was happy because in this house, I was not comfortable because of Maggie. Vyan, I was enjoying my own company, sitting on sofa, eating popcorn and watching TV when doorbell rang. I got up and went to see who's on door, but when I saw Taeyong standing out, I opened the door wide to let him in. But when he entered, I noticed he was drunk. He was reeking of alcohol. I took him to bedroom and made him lay on bed. Taking off his shoes, I turned back to leave to take lemon water for him, but he pulled my arm. I fell on him. My heart was racing. His arms were wrapped around my body. Why? What are you doing? Taeyong. I am feeling hot. Can you help me? Saying that, he slid his hand in my shirt.
Stay young. Can we be bad partners? Your eyes got bigger listening his words. Why? W- what? I mean, you love Mahi, right? Stay young. Yes, I do, but I want you to be my bad partner. Why? You are not in your right state of mind. I'm sleepy. I'm going to sleep. Taehyung. Yes or no? Why? Definitely no. It's just a contract marriage and on top of that you have a lover. Saying that you turn to walk to bedroom but he suddenly grabbed your hand and pulled you back to him. Why? What's wrong with you? Taehyung. I said be my partner. His face was really close to yours. Why? And I think you heard me already. It's impossible. As soon as you complete your sentence, he pinned you on wall. He leaned his face near you and placed his lips on yours. He kissed you roughly, but you didn't kiss him back. After trying really hard, you pushed him back. As soon as you both pulled apart, you slapped him on his face. Vian, don't you understand why you are forcing yourself on me? Remember one thing, you have a lover and I am your just contract wife for a year. His face was red, but ignoring him, you strolled in bedroom. Closing the door, you locked it. Your breath was haggard. You took a deep breath to calm yourself, but your heart was racing. Why? Why he's coming near me? I don't want to be hurt in end. Next morning. You woke up late because you couldn't sleep peacefully last night. Taking shower, you went out of room. You saw Taeyang cooking something in kitchen. Ignoring him, you took a glass of milk, but he took it from your hand. You look at him with creased eyebrows. Taeyang. I am making breakfast. It's almost done. Vian. I can cook by myself. You don't need to. Taeyang. I know you can, but I want to cook now. You roll your eyes and sat on a chair. After some minutes, Taeyang arranged breakfast on table in front of you and sat beside you. You were eating when he cleared his throat. It was the fourth time he was clearing his throat. Vian. Say whatever you want to say. He left fork and plate and wiped his mouth with napkin. Actually, I want to apologize. You were right. I love Mahi and I shouldn't have asked you to be my partner. You nodded your head while chewing. Vian. It's good you acknowledge your mistake. Taeyang took his fork and continued to eat. Done with breakfast, you walked to bedroom. Taeyang took out his phone from his pocket and dialed Alex's number. Taeyang. How is Mahi? Did she cry? Alex. No, sir, she's fine. Even she's out for shopping. Taeyong. Okay, take care of her for me. Alex. Sure, sir. Alex POV. I was watching them from a very long time. I was with Taeyong from past five years as his secretary. I always took care of everything for him, but from the first day when I saw Mahi, I fell for her. I thought one day I will tell her that I like her. But when I found out that she is the lover of Taeyong, I stepped back. I always felt hurt whenever I saw them together having a good time. I always cherished her but I couldn't tell her about my feelings for her. It was really hard for me to bury my feelings for her. But I tried my best until Vian entered in Taeyong's life. Last night Mahi was crying. I was standing out of her room listening her sobs. She was crying and hitting her hands on floor. My heart was aching and tears were rolling on my face. I left when finally she stopped crying but in morning when Taeyong asked me about her, I lied to him. Because now Taeyong have a wife but Mahi is alone. I will make her mine. Taeyong's POV I came back from office and opened the door with spare key. I directly went to bedroom but when I saw Vian laying on bed, Wearing a nightgown which was so much revealing, I felt burning in fire. She was reading a book laying on her stomach but her whole body could be seen because of the almost see-through gown. I felt my junior growing bigger. I shook my head and rushed inside the bathroom. I took cold shower and came out. Now she was sitting on bed. Vian. When did you came? Taeyong. When you were reading book. And what is this? What you are wearing? Vian. Why? What's wrong? Taeyong. Wear something else. Vian. If you don't want me to wear this, then why you bought it? Taeyong. When did I bought it? Vian. Then who bought it? It was in the suitcase which you gave me. Taeyong. But suddenly I remember everything 
for Vyan was bought by Alex. But why Alex buys such a nighty for Vyan? Did he have some bad intentions for her? I was thinking about Alex when she walked out of room, but my thoughts interrupted by a doorbell. I rushed out of room to open the door because I never wanted anyone to see Vyan in that gown. Her hands were on doorknob when I shouted, Taeyang, wait! I rushed near her. Taeyang, step aside. Creasing her eyebrows, she stepped aside and I opened the door. Alex was standing out but I noticed his eyes were roaming inside the house. I turned back and saw Vyan standing behind me. I walked out and shut the door behind. I was right. He was checking Vyan. I don't know why but I was feeling really pissed. Mahi usually wears revealing dresses and Alex was with me and Mahi for a long time. But I never felt angry nor I ever noticed those things. But why I am mad now? I grabbed his collar and said, Tell me, do you like her? Tell me. Alex, Sir, what are you talking about? Taeyang, I know you have something in your mind. That's why you put that gown in her suitcase. Alex, Sir, believe me, I swear to God I never thought anything bad for her. I took a deep breath and loved his collar. Taeyang, Why you came? Alex, Sir, I just came to give you this file. I nodded my head and took file from his hand. Taeyang, I'm sorry, I misunderstand you. Alex, No, sir, it's all right. I can understand. I again nodded my head, saying good night. Alex left. I rushed inside, and when I saw Vyan laying on sofa, I went near her. Taeyang, Change this now. Vyan, Why? If you don't want to see me, then you can leave. Heaving a sigh, I walked in bedroom. Next morning, Taeyang took you for shopping because all your dresses were revealing. You were happy going out. You were looking stuff for daily use when he said, Please hurry up. I can't spend my whole day here. You rolled your eyes at him and continued choosing clothes and other things. After selecting 8 dresses, 3 bags, 5 pairs of footwear and some other comfortable nighties, you were done with shopping. You came to Taeyong and sat next to him. Staff was packing your things when you heard a familiar voice. You turned your head and saw Sora coming with Christian. Your jaw dropped looking her unexpectedly. You immediately got up and took Taeyong's hand in yours and ran inside the fitting room. Taeyong was just staring you with confused face. Taeyong, what are you doing? Bayan, my, my sister is outside. I can't go in front of them. Taeyong, why? Bayan, if they will find me, they will force me to marry him. Christian is also with her. Taeyong, so what? You, why you can't marry him? Isn't it good? We both will be free from this unwanted contract marriage. Bayan. No, I will never marry him. He's a cheater. On our wedding day, when I was getting ready for him, he was doing it with a random girl. I can't live with such a pathetic person. Bayan. Even my parents didn't believe me. I was crying but they ignored me because of him. I can't go back to them. They will force me to marry him. Saying that, your eyes teared up. Taeyang, don't worry, you are my wife now. You don't need to hide. You should take advantage of me. Before you could say anything, he hold your hand and stepped out of the fitting room. Everyone was cheering you and most of them were smiling, thinking something else happened in fitting room. You went to counter when Sora saw you. Sora, Vyan? You? How? Taeyong's hand was wrapped around your waist. You were very close to him. You were feeling awkward, but you tried to act normal. Vyan. Hi, Sora. How are you? Sora. What do you mean? What do you think? After your runway, how we can be? Vyan. How is mom and dad? Sora. Leave them. Who's he? Taeyong. I am her husband, Kim Taeyong. Sora was staring him and jealousy could be seen in her eyes clearly. You were talking when Christian came, putting his phone in his pocket. Christian. Vyan? You? Where were you? Shouting that he rushed to you but Taeyong came in between. Christian. Who the hell are you? Stay away or else. Taeyong. Shut your mouth and leave. And one more thing. Don't you dare to come near my wife again. Taeyong was looking really scary. His eyes and face were red because of anger. Sora, 
I'm sorry, Mr. Tayong. I apologize on his behalf. Mayan, can you give me Dad's number? Sora, mm, no, I don't remember their number, and my phone is dead. You can give me your husband's number. I'll send Dad's number to him. Sora was trying to take Tayong's number, but Tayong understood his intentions. Tayong, sorry, I don't share my personal number. Sora opened her mouth to say something, but a staff member interrupted by telling Tayong that everything is packed. Tayong nodded and turned to you. Tayong, we should go, babe. Sora, but don't you want to talk to mom and dad? Wyan, Wyan, yes, I want to, but give me your number. I'll call you. You took out your phone from your handbag, but when Sora saw your phone, which was really expensive, she felt more jealous. Saving Sora's number, you left with Tayong. But when Tayong's car took bags which were filled with your shopping, her eyes turned dark. Sora, how she can marry such a rich man? I can't even afford two things from this store at a time. But she bought so many items. Jealousy was on its peak, and she was really mad. Christian, you always said your sister is innocent. She don't have a boyfriend, and she was never been in a relationship. Then what's this all? You was really pissed because of Tae Young's behavior with him. Sora, I don't understand what's happening. There's something fishy. I will find it. Don't worry. Vyan's POV. I was happy to go for shopping, but when I saw Sora and Christian, I was really scared. I took Tae Young with me in a fitting room, but it was really small. Even our breaths were exchanging. I was feeling uncomfortable. So was Tae Young. But when I told him about my runway, he wrapped his arm around my waist and walked out to face them. My heartbeat was accelerating and my hands were sweating. But the time when Tae Young blocked Christian coming near me, I felt immense amount of relaxation. I was happy looking him standing for me. But soon I remember he's someone else's. Alex POV. After coming back from office, I went to see Mahi. I knocked the door, but she didn't respond. So I opened the door slowly, thinking she might be sleeping. She was laying on bed, wearing a short yet revealing nightie. She was beautiful, but for me, she was the one and only beautiful girl in the whole universe. I slowly entered in her room, but she wasn't sleeping. Her eyes were shut, but tears were absorbing in her hair. I felt sad, looking her crying. I sat near her on bed when she opened her eyes. Mahi, oh Alex, when you came, she said and wiped her tears. Alex, why you are crying? For sir? Mahi, no, no, I'm not crying. How was your day? Mahi was always very frank with me. We were like friends. Alex, you know that I can read your face. Why you are crying for him? He is happy with Vyan. Then why you are punishing yourself? I was feeling really mad because she was crying for him. Mahi. Mm, I'm not crying. Go. You should take some rest. I'm going to take bath. I heaved a sigh and we both got up off bed. I walked out of room and strode towards my room. I put my hand in my pocket to take out my phone, but it wasn't in my pocket. Alex, I think I left it in Mahi's room. I turned back and went to Mahi's room. I thought she must be in bathroom to for shower, so without knocking the door, I entered in room. But what I saw made me swallow my own saliva. You and Tayong were sleeping when suddenly Tayong opened his eyes. He looked around and saw you sleeping peacefully. He got up of bed, th- taking key. He slowly opened the bedroom's door and walked out. Guards were not out, so he rushed to his car and drive his car in high speed. 
Soon he was out of his mansion. He rushed inside and directly went to Mahi's room. He slowly turned the door knob, not wanting to disturb Mahi, because time was already 4 a.m. But as soon as door opened, his eyes. Taeyong's POV. I opened the door of her room, but my eyes widened in shock, looking her totally. She was sleeping, but with just a duvet. Her lower body was covered with duvet, but upper body was totally open. I never have seen her in that condition. I slowly walked closer to her, but looking her like that, my heartbeat didn't increased. My body didn't ache for her touching. I for doing it with her. Reaching near her, I gently covered her in duvet, but still no special feelings. No any urge to make any contact with her body. I was confused. Why I always feel different with Vyan? With many questions in my mind, I turned back and left. Sitting in my car, I reached the apartment. I slowly opened the bedroom door and saw Vyan sleeping peacefully. Closing door behind me, I went to bed. My eyes were fixed on her face. She was pretty and innocent. I was staring her when she turned to my side and snuggled her face in my chest. She wrapped her arm and leg around me like I was a pillow. But as soon as she touched my body, my body started burning. My heart beat accelerated. Why her? Why not Mahi? My junior was waking up. I slowly removed her arms and legs from me and turned to the other side and tried to sleep. Theon came back from office, but you weren't home. He dialed your number, but a man received a call. Theon, who are you? I'm Vian's father. I want to meet you. Theon, okay, but where is Vian? Dad, she is with us in our house. I'm sending you address. Without even changing his clothes, he rushed out for your parents' house. Vian's POV. I was cooking ramen when doorbell rang. I thought he must be Theon, but then I remembered Theon have spare key. Doorbell again rang, and this time, without wasting time, I opened the door. Mom was standing outside with Sora. Looking my mom after a long, I hugged her tightly. Mom also started crying. We hugged each other tightly. Mom kissed me on forehead when Sora said, "Please, mom, don't forget what she have done." Mom broke the hug with a smile. Bayan, hi Sora, please come in. Mom, please come. I took them in sitting room. Me and mom were talking, but Sora was constantly roaming around to look each and everything closely. Mom, Bayan, I want you to come with us. Your dad wants to meet you, Bayan. Mm, mom, the young isn't home.